So I'm going to sing, sing a song now you might know. It's called Imagine. You are looking at a lost piece of music history. Imagine there's no heaven. John Lennon's very first live performance of his most beloved song, Imagine. Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, is sharing this never-before-seen footage only with Inside Edition. I met with Yoko this week at a New York gallery showing John's artwork. Well, Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes, I think so. Yeah. No, uh, Sherlock Lennon. Sherlock <laughs> Lennon, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Yoko has just completed putting together a new CD called Lennon Legend. It's a collection of 20 of Lennon's best solo recordings. Describe for me how his work differs in his solo career from his earlier time when he was with the group. And he's more honest. When the Beatles happened, they probably had some concern to try to be very commercial. And when John got together with me, there was that feeling of, okay, I'm going to be real, you know. Yeah, As a solo artist, Lennon's life became his art. But Yoko says being so open may have carried too high a price. The fact that he was too honest may have, uh, uh, may have offended some people, may have really uh, <clears throat> shortened his <clears throat> life, I don't know. You think his lyrics might have in some way encouraged Chapman to? I don't know, I don't know to... offended anybody, you know. But, he was um, a very upfront, extremely kind of open mm -hmm. to people. I think that um, sometimes you have to pay a high price for it. And he did it. He just um, gambled on it, I think. In 1970, John recorded what would become his trademark song, Imagine. Life in peace. Soon he was invited to perform it at New York's legendary Apollo Theater. And while introducing the song, Thank John you. was his Thank usual you. witty self. Uh, some of you might wonder what I'm doing here with no drummers and no nothing like that. Well, you might know I lost my old band or I left it. I'm putting a... Backstage, I'm putting an Aretha Franklin came and said hello to John. I was just watching Aretha and John just sort of chatting away. I thought, it's great, you know, <laughs> I'm seeing something great. In 1975, John put his solo career on hold to raise his and Yoko's son, Sean. But in 1980 came the comeback album, Double Fantasy. We really felt like we were starting over. And little did we know that it was going to be cut off so quickly. And then the shooting happened. Does it ever make sense? Does mm. anything like that ever? No, I mean, it's just a, a, a very sudden thing. It was so sudden, and I think that that was, <sighs> that was very difficult for me. John's beautiful boy, Sean, is now 22. And in May, Sean will follow in his father's footsteps and release his first album. The comparisons will be inevitable. I think so. I'm just watching it and just praying that things are going to be all right for him. And how old will Sean have been at this time? Ah, uh, three. Today, carrying on the Lennon legend is one of Yoko's missions. And she believes John's message has the power to inspire a whole new generation. I think he had a very, very strong spirit. It just gives you a lot of energy. It's there, an inspiration.